Hey there, my fellow history geeks. Your soon-to-be favorite historian here, David Musselman. I am in front of a building here in Silicon Valley uh, that kind of blends old and new. And there's a video series I'm going to be starting, putting on YouTube pretty soon, uh, that's going to kind of cover something I think is rather neglected as far as Silicon Valley is concerned. Because a lot of people will tell you all about the big companies here and all the wow stuff that's going on right now. And there's definitely a place for that, don't get me wrong. But nobody talks about how we got here. And that's one of the things we'll be covering. Uh, this building behind me here, uh, 844 Charleston Road in Palo Alto, is kind of an example of that because you can see the name of the company back here, Voyage. It's a startup company that is dealing with self-driving cars. Really exciting new technology. But this building has another role in the history of uh, Silicon Valley and in technology in general. And that is that in 1959, this was the home of a company named Fairchild, Electro Fairchild Semiconductor. Sorry. And Fairchild Semiconductor was founded by a guy named Robert Noyce. You might have heard of him. Uh, if not, we'll get to uh, the real stuff for him later. But he and about seven other guys, known in Silicon Valley lore to this day as the Traitorous Eight, left. Uh, fair, uh, sorry, left their uh, company, which was Shockley, the Shockley Company, the guy who invented the transistor, making transistors. They left there because Noyce figured something else out. He found a way to, to flatten out the transistor, which was like a little inverted coffee can with little wires coming out of it. I'll show you in one of the video series one of these days. But he figured out how to flatten that out photograph that onto a little piece of doped silicon and as such invented the integrated circuit. And that was what Fairchild Semiconductor was all about with the integrated circuit because this building, in addition to housing Voyage, is also the place where the first commercially practicable integrated circuit was built in 1959. And if you're not quite up on what an integrated circuit is, it's the foundation for everything that Silicon Valley has ever become. And that's kind of what the video series is going to be about. We're going to be talking about how we got here and some of the weird connections that happened along the way. Uh, speaking of weird connections that happened along the way, a quick shout out to a to a man who kind of inspired this series and kind of changed my intellectual life in a way. A gentleman named James Burke, who did a series in that aired on PBS in 1979. If you have not seen it, do your mind a favor and watch it. It's called Connections, and it will change the way you look at history. Any case, we'll be having lots more to talk about in the future, so I'll see you then.